This is Caesar. <laughs> Caesar loves the earth. But Caesar is sad. This is Julia. Julia cares about people, but Julia doesn't know how to help. Hey there, Caesar. What's the matter? All I wanted to do was grow a plant, but I'm just hopeless. I can't seem to do anything right to help fight climate change. Oh, you know, I have the same problem. I want to help save the world. But what can one person do? Does this sound familiar? All over the world, people know that our planet is in peril and that dramatic changes are needed to reverse the devastating effects of climate change. How can one person make enough of a difference? Let's see if we can help Caesar and Julia out. Hi, guys. Um, hi. I heard what you were saying, and I have an idea. Really? What's that? There's this organization called 350.org, which is helping educate and mobilize millions of people around the world to fight back and restore our planet's health and balance. You know, I've heard of this. Aren't they organizing an International Day of Climate Action on October 24th? Exactly. People all over the world are joining the movement by planning community events to raise awareness and motivate the world's leaders into serious action. Oh, that sounds really cool! But I'm not an activist or a community leader. I don't think that I can organize an action. Oh, but Caesar, we can do anything if we do it together. And there's even this simple and clear nine-step guide to help you plan your action. Oh, how simple! <laughs> and clear! Want to give it a try? Do I ever! You bet! Join Julia and Caesar on their organizing adventure. We'll keep you posted on their progress once we catch up with Caesar. Climate change! When we last saw Julia and Caesar, they had decided to get involved with 350.org's International Day of Climate Action. Let's see how they're doing. How's it going, guys? Great! After much deliberation, we decided to begin with step one. <laughs> okay, that's a good start. <laughs> yeah. Have you come up with an idea for your action? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> well, we have all sorts of ideas for our actions. Yeah, there are so many ideas, we feel overwhelmed. We wanted to pick a location that's really meaningful, mm -hmm. like an iconic landmark that represents our city. Or a place in our community that we want to protect from climate change. And we want an event that will have a huge political impact, yeah. like a march or a rally or a letter writing campaign or a service project. Yeah, that's a lot of ideas. <laughs> Just don't forget one very important thing. What? What would be the most fun for people? A, a hot dog, dog eating, eating dance a thon, pool party, rally concert! <laughs> with with popsicles! popsicles! And remember to register your action at 350.org. No, Caesar. You were so happy. Well, I have a problem. Step two says to gather with all of your friends. Well, Julia has already gathered with all of her friends. I don't have many friends. Well, at least not enough for an action. You've got to think outside the box, Caesar. Start by inviting your friends, neighbors, co-workers, and fellow students. Then contact local organizations like environmental or activism groups, as well as places of worship, labor unions, sports teams, universities, arts cooperatives, and other organized groups or small businesses in your area that may want to get involved. They'll bring new people into the process and valuable perspectives. You're right, there are so many options. This is awesome. I love having friends. 